Welcome back. Let's begin with a review of Tape 4's vocabulary builder. Watch and repeat. I am closed. I am open. There are so many thoughts in my head that it needs support. I am at rest, standing as if lying down. I am stimulating my thinker. Our usefulness is in suspension. Literally, we can't give you a hand. I am attuned to the passage of time. My genitals are unavailable. My boom boom is unavailable. Good. Now let's learn some new grammar. Can you tell what this woman is saying? The hand push states, a listener is directed away. The torso spiral says, I am preparing to go elsewhere. Put together, this sentence says, you are sent away from my place. Or in the colloquial contracted, get out of here. Get out of here. See, putting compound phrases together is easy. Let's go on. How about this phrase? In a turtle-like reaction of humiliation, the shoulders raise, withdrawing the head, the place of knowing. The mouth pulls to the side, indicating, I have nothing to say because my speaking orifice is distorted. This compound phrase says, I can't speak of anything from the place of knowing. Or in the contracted form, I don't know. Or merely, I don't know. What does this young lady mean? The sharp raising of the head, an expression of shock, is translated as, oh. The percussive planting of the weight into one hip says, I am made heavy and will remain in an unchanging position of personal certainty, an affirmation of me. The elevated focus says, I am attuned to a more celestial level than is present. These elements in concert then create the compound phrase, oh, me, God or the variant, oh my God, oh my God. Now you're getting it. This phrase introduces the concept of abstract representations, unseen props. Here, the arms are launched upward, symbolizing the jettisoning of invisible representations of self, belief systems, expectations, etc. The percussive striking of the hands also utilizes unseen props, here punishing that which is outside. The lips begin to form the letter F in an example of non-nonverbal translinguistic communication. This compound phrase says, I am angry. I am angry. Good job. Conjugating the head. Head inflections modify meaning. Watch and repeat. I am sensitive. In the anterior tense, I am smart. In the posterior tense, I am suspicious. I am perplexed and am trying to see from a different perspective. I confront you and am literally in your face. What are you nuts? You are free to imagine what it would be like to be horizontal with me. In the anterior tense, I am dangerously insane. The posterior tense is two tense. Now let's put some of what we've learned into conversational practice. Watch and complete your new vocabulary. I have no weapon. I scrutinize the totality of your physical form. I withdraw some parts of my physical form from consideration. I have power in my pelvis. My genitals are unavailable. I have no weapon. That's the idea. Let's try a harder one. I have no weapon. You are free to imagine what it would be like to be horizontal with me. Get out of here. I am relaxed, standing as if lying. 
I am dangerously insane. I grant access to my face. Oh my God! I withdraw access to my face. I have a weapon. I am angry. Good work. On tape six, we'll take a look at the mouth and what it says when it's not saying anything. See you next time.